Alright, so today I'm going to be showing how to disassemble the haptic feedback assembly on BDM50 PS5 controllers. So this one was missing its trigger. This is something that I've been seeing a lot of on the new BDM50 models because instead of having a metal bar that comes across here to secure the trigger in, it has a plastic one integrated into the gear and these break very easily. So there are a couple different models of the BDM50. There's really only two differences and the haptics come apart the same way on both of them. They're either going to be like this where you're going to see a green ribbon that's integrated into the potentiometer here or you'll see one where it's got a little circuit board here with a ribbon that plugs into it but to start you just unplug that and then you have three screws just take those three screws out Once you have those three screws out, you can just pop that straight out. This can fall out pretty easy, so I always like to lay that face up. If this falls out, it's not really that big a deal. You just need to make sure that it pops back through the potentiometer there. And then this, if you need to change that, that just, if you get something under there, you can pop that right out. Because that bar is not in there, that just kind of falls out, but normally to take that out, you just pull it up and then you can pull it out. When you're putting your trigger back on, you can see the spring there. There's a little notch. You want that to be over the spring. Okay, now I got. I thought I might have to. Uh... So you need to put that in, put that all the way down. Then you want to take this and rotate it all the way down until it doesn't go anymore. And I always put my thumb over the gear right there and it just snaps back into place. You want to make sure when you're doing this that the gear is properly aligned or the haptics won't work correctly. So you can test it by just bringing it up. You can see it goes all the way up to the trigger. And that's it really. You can just put your screws back in and you're good to go.